north. I am freaking scared right now. My boy Matthew right here, Captain Matthew, has gotten me into this crazy spot. He's my he's my getaway driver and everything. He's a true pirate. He just dropped me off here at by far one of the craziest abandoned forts I have ever seen, but I had to do some crazy stuff to get on it. I had to shimmy across this, jump over that to get up here, and we're going on right now. All right, let's see if we can get inside HQ. Let's go for it. Ladder barely holds you. Just hold on a bunch of other things. And don't move it. But you don't even know. The outside is insane. Oh my God. I was shaking the whole time on this. Dude, I mean, really, we are far out. Wow. All right, let's do this. I love doing abandoned sea forts now. I'm like addicted to it. It's just insane. It's just a, a crazy rush. All right. Wow. All right, man, I'll be back. I'll check every 20 minutes. Thank you. Damn it. Ugh. We do have some sort of a, a time limit and it has to do with uh, the tide right now. Oh my God. This is insane. Now, if you see my last video, Explorers, it was my first like boat fort ever and hanging out with uh, Matt doing these and I was freaking out. I was just amped. I was just excited for everything. Now, the thing about this one, and I have to be very clear with everyone in this is like, you can get lost. Remember, the only way out of this place is that door, that window. So I'm here in the middle of the sea with a guy with a boat that's helping me get here and get me out. And I don't even know like, if I can get out of here. So we have to be very cautious. And this one is one of the biggest forts. They said that's abandoned here. This is insane. This is so fun. These adventures are so freaking fun. Look at this. So remember, all right, so to get out of here, I have to be at the top here in the donut. I have to go check around. Lucky this is like a, a circle shape, so I shouldn't be able to get lost. Technically, I should be able to navigate myself back. This is awesome. I gotta watch out, this hole's right here. If I get hurt here, I'm literally stuck. Like, if you look at this, right, you look at this, we're looking at it and we're like, wow, like, this is great. You just think you can hop off and you're on land. But no, we're in the middle of the ocean right now. Again, I'm really out of my element in these videos because I'm not familiar with doing things like this. I don't know what some of the things are here. It's just more about the, the adventure aspect. The history is cool and I like to learn more about this. It beats uh, school, I'll tell you that. Sucks I'm by myself though. I got literally no one here. I miss my gang. Really, really reminds me of Battleship Island. I mean, look at the design. This structure and the way it's built is actually pretty incredible. You hear that sound? It's like a humming sound or something. Dang, that sun is bright, but check this out though. What? This fort was built to provide high level protection for its time. Just like this video sponsor, Surfshark VPN which can provide you protection while you're online. I'm excited because I got Surfshark to hook you guys up with a huge discount, but more on that in a second. Surfshark is an easy to use app or browser extension that allows you to access the internet as if you're in a different country and encrypts your data for privacy. It's the only VPN that lets you connect an unlimited number of devices to your account. I use Surfshark so I can be safe on the public Wi-Fi, whether I'm in a cafe, a school campus, a hotel, or even an airport all which are gold mines for hackers. Surfshark encrypts and protects your connection so that you can be safe while checking your banking or anything else that you want to keep private. I also use Surfshark so I can easily change my virtual location to another country to watch Netflix shows that I can't watch in my country or access to websites and social media accounts despite any censorship regulations. So if you want to get those advantages for yourself and support the channel at the same time, Surfshark is hooking you guys up with 83% off plus three extra months for free if you use the discount code RISEABOVE at the checkout. They offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk in trying it out for yourself.
It sucks when you're on a time limit though because now you're starting to be like, you get nervous, you're scared, you're like, oh my God, like, what if, what if something happens? Like, I don't know anything. Like, you get hurt or like the, the tide's up or the waves are too high and I'm stuck here. Like, there's so much that goes through my head during things like this. Yeah, we're gonna have to find a way up here and go inside just to say we did it. Um, it looks like you can't even really go in. The entrance is like gone. If you can hear that sound, I, I don't know what it is. I just want to explain what I'm feeling like. Um, I'm getting these like very peaceful, like almost like the mist vibes from this old like 1999 video game. It's just eerie, dark, but yet so peaceful. It's 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 insane. I'm ne like these vibes are strong too, like very mellowed out. You just hear the birds. You know you're not surrounded by anyone. There's no people. It's just you, and it's one of the coolest feelings I've ever felt. I wonder what they're even gonna do with this place. All right, let's see if we can get inside HQ. Well, these ladders look, you know, safe. Up to there. Let's go for it. Oh. oh my god. That's it. Ladder barely holds you. Just hold on a bunch of other things. And don't move it. Should be okay. Whoa. Whoa. You know the thing about these oh this one's being held up right now. And I do only want to get to the top of this place. That's not good. All right, that's a tippity top. Oh my God. I did it. We are now at the top. This is our fort. It's insane. Very awesome. I'm a bit nervous though. The view's beautiful, the weather's great. I feel, I feel alive right now. Woo, I'm back down. I flew the drone shots up there. I only have 30 more minutes, Matthew said, before I have to get down. I have 30 more minutes to explore this entire fort. Uh, I was like, yo, I'm just gonna run around and get it. But then I remembered like, yo, let's be safe. Let's just, you know, whatever we can get, we can get. We'll maybe one day come back here again. I'm not gonna chase it. Sun's coming down. That's why I have to, have to really hurry. I have to find a way back down here. Well, these are where the guns were, at least one of them. Damn it, I, don't, I really don't know how I got down. I'll have to check back in my footage maybe. I'm just like, my mind's a mess right now. Maybe up there, down there. Oh, right here, right here, no. Wow. I'm literally tempted to take this down. No, I was just here. Oh, I remember, I remember. I took the, the, the center, the lighthouse center. Right here. Woo, I was on the wrong side. This is what happens, yo. <laughs> when you start like thinking or panicking or, you know what I mean? All right. You know, this place uh, has nothing in it though. I think it's just completely empty. But it's still cool to look around and see it. One thing now I can't forget is the actual way out to that window. So I have to be really smart about that. Wow. Yeah, I like that. Ideally, everything's probably just the same. It's like going into a hotel. All the hotels are the same. We literally explored the whole thing from the center all the way up to the top and to the outside. Now this place is big and I think there's like 10 floors. I don't know. Imagine being caged in here. What if there's stairs to go down? Whoa. Whoa. I mean, ideally the center is the best. The structure itself and the outside. Let's look outside one more time. I love the view here. I can stay here overnight. Ships are out there, everything. I'm starting to think the only way downstairs from here is back into the center down, but I'm just checking to be sure. Now remember, these things were built to last. 
like no matter what a freaking tornado can go through this a hurricane it's not going to affect this in any way these are going to stay here probably as long as the earth is here here we go so it seems like the only way to get around anywhere up here is by going back into the center of the donut and going downstairs at this point the more down we go it's probably going to lead us to the water alleyways and passageways within passageways look at this i probably already took i probably just took four different ways i'm already lost like seriously so i have to like remember back left right <laughs> this keeps bringing you in circles all storage and probably ammunition things were just here i think this is where i was let me make sure okay okay because jeez i almost had a panic attack. i literally almost had a panic attack everything looks the same i have to remember this everything it's it's unbelievable in here. I really, it's like the Paris catacombs. All right, so let's go check over here now. We already explored the left side. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? Like a generator? Honestly, I don't feel too bad. Because at first when I got in here, I thought there's a time limit. I thought, oh, because there's time limit, I'm not gonna be explored this whole place, but everything literally looks the same. So we're not missing much. Oh, that might be the only way, unless this is the bottom. I don't know. I think this is the bottom. I mean, I hear the water. All right, well, I actually think we did it. Like, really, it's it's a huge, huge place. But I think that was pretty much the bottom. We're here, we're at the, the bottom floor. If it goes down anymore, it is gonna just look like this. I don't know where it would be. I'll take a look around. I'll go around this whole entire thing right now. Whip around it just to see. But I know Matthew's like, I gotta get out of here. I know it. This has been a very good mission and it's, it's all about the history and the adventure. You know what I mean? It's not, it's, it, it might be abandoned. It's nothing like the other stuff, but it's just the history, but it's about the adventure and the journey of getting there. I think we can use that for this. <sighs> Very quiet. Yer! Now time to find that place to get out of here. Whoa, that's sick. They're soldering something. Good find. Their old workstation. All right, I'm, I'm leaving now. This was crazy, bro. What a day in the UK. <laughs> All right. Definitely a first person view video. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to end it pretty much right here. Huge shout out to my boy Matthew Williams down there. Check his channel out. Link in the description down below. It was a great place, a great video. Unbelievable experience. Something I've never really seen. Probably literally only in the UK. But I got to pack up. I got to get out of here, get back on the boat, and get out before sunset. So thanks so much for watching this video. Sorry if it's too fast paced or anything like that. Woo! It was something. So without further ado, explorers, rise above. Just get out there and explore. Peace and thanks for watching. Getting on the fort was already hard, but I did not expect getting off the fort to be harder. I couldn't go the same way I got on the fort. I had to go a different way. I didn't know what to do. And my bag was so heavy, so I said, screw it. I don't, it's either like I fall into this rough water that I don't know if I can really swim in and hope I don't drown and, and risk my life, or I just take my camera gear and I throw it into the boat. And my, I have about $10,000 of camera gear. And I said, screw it. It's my life or, 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 or this. It was already a crazy adventure. So I threw my, my backpack into the boat. And for a second, right before I threw it, you can see that my tripod almost got stuck onto the metal grids. And I almost threw it. almost just fell right into the water. And then what I did is I had to like, like sit down on this metal grid and slide off back to the other side. It's, it was, it, honestly, it was an insane mission I won't forget today. That's good, holy f I can't believe I threw that in there. <laughs>